These are the ingredients for my own recipe, red tomato chutney. 1.5 kilograms of onions, 250 grams of raisins, and you leave those whole, six chopped garlic cloves, less if you don't like garlic, a five centimeter piece of fresh ginger, freshly grated, 500 grams of raspberry jam, preferably your own grown, 500 grams of demerara sugar, 1.14 litres of spiced vinegar, I think this is the same as two pints, 1.5 kilograms of Bramley apples, 2.5 kilograms of ripe tomatoes, a full jar of 180 grams of whole grain mustard, 400 grams of soft apricots, 250 grams of sultanas and they are chopped up or they will be chopped up later. And then we've also got some more spices, two teaspoonfuls of salt, three teaspoonfuls of mustard seed, half a teaspoonful of ground cloves, two teaspoonfuls of ground black pepper. First of all you can add the vinegar, and the demerara sugar. and the raisins. Also the raspberry jam. And the whole grain mustard. I'm also going to add the spices just now, pepper, salt, etc. Right, next comes my secret weapon. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to chop up the sultanas. And the apricots. To help this, kind of to make it a bit more liquid, I'm going to put some tomatoes in there as well. A few bits of apples. Right, we're set. The thing to do is not chop it too small. Right, this can go in the pan. Right, next we're going to chop up some uh, of the tomatoes and some of the apples. Thank you. 
and some more tomatoes, apples and onions. Some more apples and onions, and I'm going to add the uh, the cloves of garlic and the ginger, so that will get chopped up a little bit better. Okay, now this can go in the pan as well. Stuck. I'm just going to keep on chopping this up until I fill the pan Right, we're getting there, not, not much more to go now. That's everything. Perfect. What to do now is put it on the hob, just bring it to the boil and then can let it simmer and um, for about an hour. You've got to keep an eye on it because it can eat, burn on the bottom quite easily. In the meantime what you can be doing is preparing your jars. Wash them in really hot water and then stand them on a some kitchen clean kitchen towel to, to dry you need to keep stirring it about every five minutes this is half an hour in and it's starting to colour up nicely I've turned, I've turned the heat down from uh, 4 down to 4. So you, you soak the jars in really hot water and it's best to have some kind of tongs or something to get, get them out with because they can be really hot.
and then you put them on some clean uh, kitchen towel to, to drain you need to do the lids as well the pan full that I've done is 10 litres a jar like that is one litre a jar like that is less than half a litre so it's best to do enough jars so that you you're not going to run out this is a chutney after one hour it's thickened up a bit and uh, it's a nice rich brown colour it's got a lovely smell coming from it what I do now uh, I've got this funnel which is really useful and I'll ladle it into jars when it's still really hot put the tops on straight away the jars are really hot so you've got to be quite careful uh, what, what I do, I, I wash them in, in hot water to get rid of some of the stuff that's gone down the side. If you did them in cold water, they might break. That's everything in jars. And as you can see, I haven't burnt the bottom of the pan, which makes for a change. It often happens. So out of that batch, I've got 15 jars of chutney and I used almost all of the jars, there was only two left the best thing to do is put them on like a chopping board or something because uh, the chutney is really hot and it could if blister maybe your worktop so that's the best thing to do as, as they cool down the lids will pop inwards uh, making a really good seal and because they were, they were uh, bottled up when they were really hot uh, they, they'll last for 18 months enjoy